Hi, this is Bonnie Cha, Senior Editor at CNET.com, and today I've got your first look at the RIM BlackBerry Storm for Verizon Wireless. Now, I know a lot of you have been waiting for the smartphone, and it's finally here, so let's just get right into it. The BlackBerry Storm is big news because it's the first touchscreen BlackBerry, and it's not like any other touchscreen phone out there. Uh, Research in Motion developed a technology called SurePress, which uses a suspension system that lies beneath the display so that when you go to select an application or enter text, you actually push the screen down like you would on any other tactile button. Um, in terms of text entry, the BlackBerry Storm features a SureType keyboard when the phone, smartphone is in portrait mode and then switches to a full QWERTY keyboard in landscape mode. When using the keyboard or selecting applications, you can do a simple finger touch over the item till it's highlighted, and then you press down on the screen to register the action. For example, you can tap on the screen twice to zoom in on a web page or a map, or you can do quick finger swipes to scroll through web pages up and down like that. While the SharePress technology is cool, it takes some acclimation. Uh, it's not a natural feeling to physically push down on the screen, and I often find myself forgetting to actually press down on the screen, and instead I was just tapping or double tapping on the letter button or the link. Uh, you do get used to it after a while, but as far as email creation and text messages, I did miss having a tactile keyboard. Uh, I couldn't comfortably type long messages as fast as I wanted, and when I did, I ended up with a lot of errors. So if you're a heavy emailer, the storm may not be for you. Uh, otherwise, the screen is really beautiful and sharp, and there's a built-in accelerometer, so the screen will automatically switch from portrait or landscape mode when you rotate the phone. Um, there are some navigations below the screen. You get talk and end keys, a menu button, and a clear button, but there's no trackball navigator, and I actually really missed it. I think it would have been a nice addition to have, just for one easier one-handed navigation and for selecting certain items like hyperlinks on a web page. As far as features, the Storm runs the latest version of the BlackBerry operating system, which is 4.7. Includes an updated interface and documents to go standard edition for viewing and editing Word, Excel, and PowerPoint applications. Storm also has a link to the BlackBerry Application Center, which is new. It hasn't officially launched, but it will let you download more programs for your device. Currently, there are just some uh, basic applications like Yahoo Messenger and Flickr and Facebook. Um, of course, you get full email support, including Microsoft Exchange, Novell GroupWise, and POP and IMAP email access. The BlackBerry Storm also offers dual mode functionality, which means you'll be able to use the phone overseas. Uh, when you're making calls here in the state, it will use Verizon CDMA network, but when you travel internationally where they use the GSM band, it'll automatically switch over, and there's actually a SIM card included in the package, so that's really nice. BlackBerry Storm also has full 3G, including eVideo, RevA, and HSTPA, so you get faster download and upload speeds. Fortunately, there's no Wi-Fi, and I know people think it's not necessary since there's 3G, but I still like having that option, especially when you're not in a coverage area. Other goodies include GPS, a 3.2 megapixel camera, and a pretty robust multimedia player with a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, which we're always happy to see. Obviously, the Storm has a lot, and it's a great value at $199.99 with a two-year contract. Definitely gives the iPhone a bit of a run for its money in terms of features, but I think as far as ease of use and web browsing, the iPhone still wins. Still, the Storm is very cool and offers pretty good performance, and it will attract both consumers and mobile professionals. I think longtime BlackBerry users will need a little bit of time to get used to the touchscreen keyboard. And as I said before, this isn't going to be the best device for people who email a lot for work and would probably be better suited with a BlackBerry Bold or another QWERTY smartphone. I'm Bonnie Chan. This has been your first look at the RIM BlackBerry Storm.